Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. I'm going to show you numerous enormous signs that are absolutely exploding at the moment. This demonstrates that what Adam Aaron did exactly 5 days ago was correct. And I'm going to explain why the number from 5 days ago is so crucial to proving that what he's doing is actually working. And I'll explain why I believe the moment is actually approaching and what you should be doing right now to prepare for the mass. So, beginning very quickly with the graph, we are currently up 4.63%, as seen above. We actually reached this point up to this point. We had gained roughly 10%. Additionally, this is quite odd. And permit me to explain why this particular approval is not yet accepted. What should be occurring is that all the institutional investors are going to sell AMC, start purchasing apes, because of course, APE is going to be turned into AMC. So for now, right now, you can actually purchase AMC for $2.91 and then sell it for $6. This appears to be a major issue. So why doesn't anyone actually do that? The explanation is quite easy. They are and require this mobility immediately. Therefore, the decline of these is a result of these. However, why are we increasing by 10%? The explanation is straightforward. They are beginning to cover and explain why they are beginning to cover. If this is accepted, they will be required to pay if it is implemented. This is at 99%. Certainly, if this is accepted. Currently, it appears that the proposal will be approved. Why this percentage is neither 10% nor 30% nor 40%? This is due to the fact that to begin with, there are still dark pools despite their significant decline, and these dark pools have declined because institutional investors are selling and buying on the market and not through dark pools. This is a crucial consideration that actually verifies my theory, but the reason they're not covering 100% of the market is because it's not clear who's covering all that hedge funds and shorts with low risk tolerance. The others will simply wait for this proposal's approval. Therefore, gentlemen, you should vote yes, as this demonstrates that the strategy is effective. Also, I am suggesting this because ANC was added to the NISI threshold security list only today. What exactly does this mean? A threshold list is a list of securities whose transactions have failed to settle for five settlement days in a row. Okay, gentlemen, do you comprehend why this is so massive? This is because this was released exactly five days ago. So what exactly does this mean? When you can't settle a e share and it becomes an FT, it's because no one else is willing to purchase it. And this is enormous. Why? Because all parties require shares at this time. This is also demonstrated by the fact that 412% of the four guys who borrowed shares ended up with virtually no shares in a record label. In addition, the availability of ETF shares is incredibly limited, which is a significant factor. Okay, guys, and this is a major indicator because Vanguard and BlackRock, who have so many shares, are typically the ones that lend them, despite the fact that they are not even their shares. Individuals purchase these shares for the ETFs. They're not lending them because they know that if they do, the short sellers won't be able to return them, and they'll have to purchase it back from the market, which would be significantly more expensive in the long run. As can be seen, we have access to all of this data. So CDB will increase by 1,000%. Obviously, this is the CDB, max, but 1,000%, people. This indicates that they are paying 1,000% for AMC shares. It is true that the annual interest rate is 1,000%, but the daily interest rate is roughly 3%. Thus, this is enormous. This is enormous. I'm not sure whether you realize how expensive this is, and to compare this to what occurred two years ago in June, when we were genuinely squeezed. However, before we begin, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It's gratis. It only takes a fraction of a second yet it helps me tremendously. So thank you very lot. The highest average CTB score was 89%. Currently, it is 591%. Maximum CDB, max, was 300%. And we're currently at 1,000%. And the free float short interest was 11%. Currently, it is between 21 and 23%. And also, folks, we must examine the fact that AMC is still in debt but has much improved financials and cash reserves compared to two years ago. 
movie outlook is unquestionably orders of magnitude better than the worst era ever recorded in theaters. So the fact that the number of short positions grew on June 21st tells us that the majority expected AMC to fail. And as a result, there are few positions being closed. And this implies that institutional investors are simply going to acquire AMC as the fundamentals continue to improve it is evident that the market will either contract or continue to rise substantially. And the AMC fair price is currently between $25 and $30. They are attempting to cover up the fact that they are not selling, which they are aware of. In the meantime, there is still a significant amount of short selling to prevent AMC from exploding. Because obviously if they don't short sell right now, and we can see that they are still short selling, the CTB will continue to rise. Consequently, this indicates that they continue to request shares, as can be seen by examining the time window, beginning at 948, the value was roughly 290%. At 1016, it was 412%, and then it became 0% because there were no more shares available. So what this suggests is that they attempted to buy and borrow as many AMC shares as possible in order to decrease our stock price. Therefore, the large increase that has occurred recently demonstrates that the current decline is merely continuing to manifest itself. Nevertheless, they cannot govern us. I do believe that we are likely to fall a little bit further and then recover. All of these evidence, however, indicate that the events in question occurred five days ago. Remember Trister security until the end of time that in the previous five days the CTB has increased by 150% to 230 individuals. It's enormous and the CTB maximum is considerably larger. It's 1,000%. All of these factors indicate that they dread the proposal's approval greatly. Therefore, to reiterate, it is your own decision. But these factors convince me to vote yes. 100% because it will succeed. And don't worry about your shares being slashed to the point where you only have one share, because that only reduces liquidity. This signifies that it is a clear illustration. Suppose there are 100 hags and only 30 persons interested in purchasing them. Let's assume there are 10 eggs and that the pricing will be inexpensive. Therefore, for every 10 eggs that existed previously, there is now just one. Therefore, they were initially 100 and are now 10. However, the buyers are still 30 years old. Just consider that. How will that transpire? The prices are likely to skyrocket. Eliminating liquidity is precisely what Armando is doing with the reverse stock split. And it's working. It is going to succeed. The only thing they should be doing at the moment, in my opinion, is purchasing enough AMC and 8 shares to create a multiple of 10, providing you can afford it. Otherwise, you will likely receive cash for the remaining shares. It is going to be somewhat complicated. It depends on whether or not your brokerage accepts fractional shares. All of these, however, are ridiculous. And again, you should not be doing anything other than buying and holding. And this is it, gentlemen. According to me, we are quite close. Moreover, these factors indicate that we will be forced to squeeze. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know. In the comment area, Daniel, what is your opinion? If you loved it, please leave feedback. I can subscribe and look forward to the next issue. Bye-bye.